Hi dears, welcome to mathematics class. The topic of our lesson is exponents, practice questions, part 8. Or the last part. Simplify a minus b over a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 minus a to the power of 3 over 2 minus b to the power of 3 over 2 over a minus b all to the power of minus 1. For this kind of uh, questions what we do we should simplify this one the first one uh, factor the first the uh, denominator is a to the power of 1 over 2 uh, in order to cancel the, the something from the uh, numerator with the denominator we should factor this one into two factors that is a to the power of 1 over 2 a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 we know this from the previous previous a lesson or previous examples and the second factor is a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 and the denominator is a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 minus for the second one the numerator is a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 a to the power of 1 over 2 this is like the factor of a to the power of t minus b to the power of 3 that's a to the power of 1 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 and the second factor is a to the power of 2 over 2 2 over 2 is 1 a to the power of 1 plus a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 2 over 2 means b to the power of 1 and the denominator is a minus b And we can factor a to minus b to the like this one a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 and the second factor is a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 all of this is to the power of negative 1 and this is equal to now what can you do now a to the power of uh, 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2 cancelled with the a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b uh, 1 over 2 a remaining in the numerator a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 and, and the denominator remaining 1 and here this one cancelled with this one then the, uh, the uh, numerator remaining a a to the power of 
uh, 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 plus b and the numerator a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 we take common denominators for both of this here is 1, 1 times a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 the denominator is a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2. This is a common denominator and the common denominator divided by 1 is centering a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2. a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 times a to the power of 1 over 2 b to uh, plus b to the power of 1 over 2 is a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 square or to the power of 2 minus now the common denominator divided by this denominator a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 divided by a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 that become 1, 1 times this one this one is cancelled already is my, my uh, neg negative a plus a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 plus b all to the power of negative 1 and this is equal to We simplify this one. A to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 is a to the, in all to the power of 2 it means a plus b all square. The first one is square is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2 squared 1 over 2 times 2 is 2 uh, 2 cancelled with 2 it became a plus 2 a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 plus b and we multiply this negative sign with all of this one positive times negative is negative a positive times negative is negative a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 negative B. over a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of negative 1 and this is equal to now positive a cancel with a negative a positive b with a negative b here a to the power of 2 a to the power of 1 over 2 b, uh, b, uh, b to the power of 1 over 2 and minus a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 is remaining 1 
a to the power of 1 over 2, b to the power of 1 over 2. a to the power of 1 over 2, b to the power of 1 over 2. Over the denominators, a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of negative 1 in order to be, be uh, uh, they, uh, this become positive or the power of uh, positive 1 the denominator uh, well, we, uh, we, uh, if we want to uh, make this negative positive, the numerator go to the numerator and the numerator go to the numerator. It means that we inverse the uh, fraction. It's equal to a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 over a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 this is the answer for this question If you want uh, to write it in the root uh, signs, or the root signs, we can write a to the power of 1 over 2 means square root of a plus square root of b square root of b over a square root of a times a square root of b. This is also the answer for this question. In some multiple choice exams, we have either this or this answer. Both are correct. correct. I repeat for you. Simplify a minus b over a to the power of 1 over 2, b to the power of my negative 1 over 2, or minus 3 to the power of 3 over 2, minus b to the power of 3 over, 2 over 2, over a minus b, all to the power of minus 1. What we do? We factor this one into 2. Uh, Factors a to the power of one, one over two plus b to the power of one over two. One factor. The other factor is a to the power of one over two minus b to the power of uh, one over two over same denominator minus and we uh, factor this one a to the power of one over two minus b to the power of one over two. And the other one is a plus a to the power of one over two b to the power of one over two plus b over this one in factor a to the power of 1 over 2, same as this one, b to, plus b to the power of 1 over 2, the other one is a to the power of 1 over 2 minus b to the power of 1 over 2, all to the power of negative 1. And here we multiply this one, it becomes a to the power of 1 over 2. Uh, we cancel this one with this one, here remaining uh, a to the power of just 1 over 2, and here also we cancel this one and this one here. The common denominator between both of this is a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2. The common denominator a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 1 is the same thing. And this one divided by this one is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 all to the power of 2 minus here remaining this one cancelled with this one only this factor all to the power of minus 1. 
Now we simplify this one. And this is h uh, the, uh, the form of a plus b all to the power of two. The first, the first uh, term to the power of two. It means that a to one over two times two is a to the power of two over two. That is equal to a plus this one times this one times two. Two a to the power of one over two. Be over one over two plus the square of the last one. It is b to the power of 1 over 2. Square means b to the power of 2 over 2, that is equal to b. And we multiply negative with all of this, and negative times negative is negative. Positive, negative times positive is negative, negative, negative. A, a to the power of 1 over 2, b to the power of 1, 1 over 2 minus b, all to the power of negative 1. Now, a cancels within negative a. Uh, b cancel with the uh, negative b, 2 a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 minus a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1, uh, 1 over 2, and then the denominator a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2, all to the power of negative 1. If you want to change the negative to positive, uh, we inverse the uh, fraction, the denominator go to uh, the numerator and the numerator to come to denominator a to the power of 1 over 2 plus b to the power of 1 over 2 over a to the power of 1 over 2 b to the power of 1 over 2 this is the answer if we write in the factor, uh, root form that is square root of a plus square root of b over square root of, or square root of a times the square root of b. I think it is enough for the um, uh, examples for the exponents practice questions. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos. Have a great and wonderful days and nights. Bye-bye.